Is it time to upgrade your Bluetooth speaker game? Say what? Does your current Bluetooth speaker leave something to be desired in sound and size? Yes, yes it does. All right guys, this is what we're getting into today. We're building a Bluetooth speaker box. So if you're interested in this, interested in how to make your own for your car and how, the, how it sounds, <laughs> stay tuned after this intro. We're getting right into the build guys. See you in a second. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jason with JW Class VW, and we're back again doing something a little different today. A little bit something different. Normally we are down in the garage playing around with Goose, but today we're working on some tunes. A little bit of music, a little bit of sound, because right now the only music I have is my engine, which honestly is pretty fantastic. But uh, we're moving into something a little different today. Let me turn you guys around and show you what's going on. So you can see I have all kinds of stuff here and a cardboard box that if you're part of my social media, uh, you've already seen that I've tested out these 6x9s inside of this box that I've got some polyfill in and uh, They sound pretty good. I've been running it probably for a week or two just to see what kind of sound quality I get and uh, it's not bad But what we're doing is moving from this to this today <laughs> That's right guys. We're gonna be doing a Bluetooth speaker box inside of the luggage that goes behind a uh, in the back seat, behind the back seat of a uh, goose, yeah. So let's do a rundown of the components, guys, and we got here. This is some, just some basic tools for what we're gonna need, but uh, the most important part with all these speaker box projects that I've seen online is the the board, because that's where all the magic happens, is the board. What's great about this one is, is once this power is turned on, it'll start looking for a device to sync to. This part of the board is the uh, Bluetooth receiver, and the rest of the board does 50 watts to two channels. So right here, you've got a left and a right channel, and it got 50 watts that goes to both of those. Pretty cool how it works. Now, powering it is a 12 volt source, and you can either make that, which I made this one through uh, buying some battery holders and some old batteries that I pulled out of uh, my son's hoverboard that was like not working anymore. <laughs> it was toast. I went ahead and soldered in a charging port to be able to charge this and a power port to be able to power up the board itself. Let me go ahead and put you guys into the, uh, the tripod and then show you how this thing powers up. So here's the board. And the best thing about this guys with these, uh, these little boards that you can pick up. Now there's a ton of different ones you can get, but I will link all this stuff as always in the description below guys, if you want to pick some of this up, uh, you just plug in the 12 volt source and then it'll power on. You see it flashing? It's powering on right now. If I had it hooked up to the speakers, you would hear, hear it start to to come into tune and it's, it's it just synced with my uh, my phone because it's already been hooked up to it once. So that's how these things work. It's pretty cool, fairly inexpensive. Check out the description below if you wanna pick one of these up. This is the, the key to making this whole thing work, that and having a power source. Now these batteries, honestly, I wasn't sure how good they were gonna be. So I went ahead and picked up an external battery pack and this thing works excellent. And I'll show you that right now, hold on a second. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just take this other battery pack and you can see that it has on it a, uh, a 12 volt out. Let me zoom you guys in the right way so you can see. It's got a 12 volt in out. So that'll allow you to charge this battery pack back up and uh, output 12 volts. Also outputs nine volts or a five volt if you wanna charge something. So that's pretty cool. This thing costs about 50 bucks, but uh, I had it plugged up to the, uh, the uh, board and powering the six by nine speakers for like a week and it didn't budge. The voltage did not budge at all. Let's zoom you guys back out. So let's power this up real quick. Oh, this is another thing that I liked about it too is like when I have the battery pack hooked up to the board, I can just flip off and on the power and this will go ahead and flip off and on the power to the board. So yeah, that was pretty neat. Instead of having to worry about unplugging from the board all the time. So let's go ahead and plug the battery pack up to it. And then all you do is flip on the switch. And show you guys what's going on. See, it's already powered back up again. Battery pack is full and it just resynced with my phone again. Very cool. So the first thing we gotta do 
is gut the speaker box, or <laughs> what's gonna be the speaker box, the luggage, We've gotta gut it, cause it's got all the, the stuff that it came with inside of it, like all the fabric and all that jazz, we gotta gut that out. And then we'll start to plan out how we're gonna lay everything out inside of it. And I'll bring you guys back for that. I'll probably just time lapse the gutting of this thing. Mark on the spence. Now you want to kind of keep the six by nine low in the box because that's where the, it's just thicker. It's the, the wider portion of the box. So the lower you can go, the better. This is all just off the cuff, guys. I haven't really planned this out very well. So if we run into issues, we're going to be running into the issues together. What am I going to use to cut out this uh, hole? I got a Dremel with a bunch of extra stuff. So I'm hoping that due to how thin this material is, it's not too much of a pain in the butt to cut through. So, and I got my drill. Worst case scenario, <clears throat> I'll go downstairs and grab my jigsaw and that'll make super quick work of this whole thing. So just because I was curious to see if this razor blade would dive through and uh, it did. So if I have to, I can just <laughs> move the razor blade around to get a cleaner cut if it becomes an issue. But this uh, little Dremel kit that I picked up has some cutting blades in it that I think will make super quick work of this. If uh, the only thing I'd be concerned about is how smo smoky it's gonna get. Like, is it gonna, is it gonna smoke out the apartment? <laughs> I never used these these little blades before. Maybe you guys have. I've never used these before, but uh, I have a feeling that it's gonna make quick work of this this box. <laughs> Try out this uh, other blade real quick and see how it does. It's uh, metal, so I would assume that it would cut better. Guys, there's the box. I got the speakers mounted inside of it. it. Took a little bit more time to cut the holes open because the uh, baffles, the plastic baffles behind here added some material to actually make this size a little bit bigger, the hole size a little bit bigger. So I spent some time with the, uh, the Dremel and uh, the vacuum on and just kind of like grinding down until I got to the point where everything fit the way that I wanted it to. Go ahead and open up the box and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we got the baffles here. And I, like I told you, I had to trim some of the uh, the top of the baffle to get it to sit the way that I wanted to on here. The uh, When you're looking at the speaker, you can see how this is gonna help direct the sound of the speaker. And I'm not sure how it's gonna sound yet, so I'm gonna watch on the polyfill. I might add polyfill, I might not add polyfill, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to. The, uh, the baffles also came with this a uh, little bit of soundproofing or sound detonating that has a sticky back to it. So I'll be putting that pretty much right behind the speaker on the other side 
of the, the luggage. The other things that we have to add next after I solder in this, uh, this speaker wire, so we're gonna solder the speaker wire in real quick, is the, the actual uh, power supply and the Bluetooth and amp card. Hey guys, take a break from the video for one second to go get a Coke. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Add some comments below. I know you're enjoying this, so let me know. <laughs> now, back to the video. So everybody's, <clears throat> everybody's got their little trick to soldering. What I like to do first is kind of tin my connections first, my, uh, my wire, tin my wire a little bit. And all you're doing is just getting a little solder on the copper before you uh, terminate it to the speaker. And then we'll go ahead and tin the other wire. Now, down to the terminals themselves. You guys see that? Oh, now you can. <laughs> Load it up. Good. Other side. And sometimes people just use the push on connectors for this, which. Uh, Sometimes I do, but since it's gonna be inside this box, it's ooh, magnet. Pretty easy just to go ahead and just heat this up and just connect it this way. Give it a second. There we go. The solder nice melted up there and there we go. Cool. That's one side. There we go. Cool. Yabba dabba do. I'm gonna flip this box around. I just wanna stay up here, why not? Flip this box around so we can uh, finish looking at the connections that we need. That, uh, ooh, that's iron iron is smoking. So the idea with a box here is to be able to reach the on off switch with the battery pack, right? So, I'm not thinking of kind of throwing stuff around. Thinking out loud, I'm going to cut this box here down the sides, and then uh, I should be able to put like a backer behind this and hold this in place up front. I do know that I need to cut a hole in the side of this if I'm going to get this to work the way I want to at all. But first, I'm going to cut a hole in this, put it up against the side, draw an outline for what we're going to be cutting out, right? Right. So there's a general idea. You can reach through and just flip it on. It'll be plugged in, so I'll probably have to put this back a little ways to be able to get the, my wire to come up through there and not... Uh, interfere with stuff but i'll be able to reach in and turn off and on the switch which is that's my my real concern whether or not i can do that <clears throat> now let's take a look see i gotta cut a hole in the, the box here to be able to get this thing to be able to reach in you know what i mean go ahead and get this uh side hole cut out before we worry about wiring in the power for the uh Bluetooth amp chip. I'll do my best. The sides are thick. Look how much thicker that is than the top. Yeah, see that? That's crazy thicker. We got this pretty cleaned up. <clears throat> I gotta get this. I got this, uh, Gorilla hot glue gun. 
as always, guys, I'm an Amazon affiliate. And any of the links that you see down below, if they link to Amazon, it's helping support the channel. So if you need this stuff anyway, and uh, you plan on doing this project, feel free to support the channel by buying them through my links. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's like 12 bucks. And it came with like a big pack of glue too. This uh, big pack of glue. So that should be more than enough to get the project done. And uh, it's always good to have a hot glue gun around. And this one will be yours. I'm a single guy, so no one's really taking any of my stuff, but uh, you know how those ladies of ours, or uh, ladies of yours, like to use your stuff. This one will be yours. She can have her own hot glue gun. So the first thing that we're going to do now, first thing, like the 20th thing we're going to do now, is uh, mount the board. The board for the uh, Bluetooth board. And I'm thinking about mounting it right here on the uh, the lid to the actual container. And the way that it'll, I think it'll have plenty of clearance still when I go to shut it because it's uh, there's plenty of room inside there. So I'm gonna mount this by hot gluing the little feet on the bottom here. Zoom me in guys, room. The little feet on the bottom of this thing. I'm gonna hot glue them right down into here. And I think that, that should work pretty good. Let me move you over here because <clears throat> My hot glue gun only reaches so far. Good show, good show. Let's go ahead and try it out. Put a little hot glue on here, see what happens. It's Gorilla Glue. I saw Gorilla and I thought automatically that uh, it's got to be good, right? It's Gorilla. I've used Gorilla Glue on other stuff and that stuff's like magic. Man, it went through that glue quick. I need another stick already. Let's go ahead and stick it down, see what happens. I will say, guys, like, look at that. Holy smokes, like in a second. That is on there. And I don't think it's going anywhere. Look at that. Those feet are stuck. Wow. Yeah, man. Gorilla glue to the rescue. <laughs> JT approved. <laughs> so there we go. And then I'll be able to reach in. <laughs> Once this is glued down with the Gorilla Glue, flip it on and we'll be good to go. I got to run my speaker wires down inside there first still and hook them up to the top of the board. But uh, man, it's coming together. Yeah, don't pay attention to that. I need to clean this up or something. All right, next step is to hot glue the... The board is awesome, dude. That that's worked out great. Let's let's uh, hot glue the uh, the box down into here, and that's gonna take considerably more glue because, uh, well, it just is. Let's clean this off a little bit. Some of that alcohol. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the hot glue down on the. Uh, on the box itself and then kind of press the uh the wood box <laughs> be clear on that right on the wood box and then uh, press the uh plastic nema box into it let's uh go ahead and see what we can do here put some hot glue here towards the front see if we maybe try to keep it close to this bad boy I'm gonna be going through some hot glue. Holy smokes, am I gonna be going through some hot glue? I don't know if I can feed this through fast enough if it'll allow me to do what I'm trying to do. Before it gets, uh, you know, starts becoming a solid again. How much do I need, you think? Think that's enough? I don't know, man. I don't do these hobby things all the time like this. I'm gonna try that first and then glue around it if we need to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's going all over the place. I'm gonna go ahead and go around the outside too, some just to add some support in, especially up here. 
where it meets the, uh, the box. Making a mess, Jay. I know. Making a mess. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the back side back here. That would be a tight fit. I don't think it's going anywhere, guys. I think we got uh, Gorilla Glue approved. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. <laughs> cool. I'm thinking pathwise on the wires. I'm going to throw some hot glue down and, and hold those in place, too. Probably right about there, huh? A splooge of hot glue. A little bit of hot glue. Action man, can you help me out? Can you hold that down. Come on. There we go. That's probably more than enough, huh? You think? Yeah, hold it down there first. It's trying to come up. I'll let that dry. I don't know how long that's going to take. I just use my soldering iron to punch a little hole on the side of the box over here. And uh, it worked like a charm for the uh, speaker wires, guys. Turn on the speaker wires in there. Worked pretty good. Yeah. So I've officially turned my apartment into what I would call a battle zone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit of a disaster in here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave these a little bit longer. At least uh, match them up, these two speaker wires, because when you go to pull the lid off, you're probably going to want a little bit of extra length there. So I'm going to at least match them before I terminate them into this thing. So right there. You got a left channel positive, negative, right channel negative and positive. That's it. And that's it. Let's go ahead and hook them up. So this one was... Like it even matters, right? They're all in one box. But I'm going to say right channel. Right channel. I will say that when I was playing this thing through the, the cardboard box I had set up, it was pretty excellent. I was, I was, I was pleasantly surprised with the quality that it had. So, here's what we're doing. Let's go ahead and stick the uh, power supply in here. And it kind of just rests in the bottom, which I'm not sure if I super like that. I want to go ahead and do something on the sides. And I thought about this because of this jazz. And uh, I might just use a piece of this, because I'm have to, I'm gonna have to cut it anyway, because there's only so much that's gonna fit on the top of the lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the lid on and figure out how this is going to, like where it would line up, you know what I mean? And then just put a little bit of that, uh, put this on the top of here and then figure out what's gonna cut off. And I think I'm just gonna be right about there. Cool. So let me grab some scissors, cut this, and then we'll put the, put on the top of the lid. Let's see, let's see. Oh man, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Takes a little play out of there. Very good, very good. If you wanted to run like a strap in there to hold the battery in place, maybe that'd be something else that you might want to do, but uh, I'm not super concerned about that. Right now I'm gonna hook this bad boy up to my phone and fire her up, man. Fire it up, see what it sounds like. Definitely sounds good. Had to put some polyfill in here though. Don't know how much I'm gonna have to add, but uh, we start with this. And then uh, we'll move on from there. But uh, yeah, man, it sounds super good. So yeah, guys, I got the Bluetooth speaker all kind of installed in the car. And I cruised around with it quite a bit last night. And it sounds fantastic. Uh, there's some uh, playing around I'm going to do with it because there's some rattling. Just like any box might need to add some more polyfill to it. There's quite a bit in there already. But yeah, sometimes you got to stuff these things. I might end up having to add some extra latches on the sides. Maybe to keep it from trying to push itself open with the speakers in there. I can't believe the little Bluetooth card and the amount of wattage that is pushed onto these subs, or these not subs, these six by nines. But uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive, pretty impressive. So let me show you real quick how easy it is just to turn this thing on. The uh, if it, the video looks kind of crazy, it's because of this light that I'm using for you guys to be able to see. But the cutout that we put in here, it's pretty straightforward. Let me see if I can flip you guys over to see, uh, see some action. I mean, cranking this baby on there we go and just gotta reach in just gotta reach in here and flip on the switch flip on the switch and then the box will come up 
come to life. Oh, you guys heard that. That's uh, pretty loud. Must be on pretty loud still from last night. That's it, man. Sinks right up to the phone. You heard it sink to the phone, too. Ooh, got some disco music going on here. <laughs> So the, so the box turned out really well, guys. It's uh, not huge when it comes to size. Sound is pretty good. Gonna be great for car shows and or events or just cruising around town and just to have a little bit of sound. It's not gonna be like having a full stereo system in your car, you know, 10s or 12s, but it'll get the job done. Thanks to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. We're almost at 3,000. If you have any questions, comments below. As always, guys, appreciate you. Hope you're having a great day, great weekend. Talk to you soon. This is Jason from JW Classic VW. And